Hey, Mike Lemon, Cyber Safe Teen. Today we're going to talk about the legal consequences of your children's sexting. So we talked about them getting uh, sending pictures because they uh, were threatened or tricked or something like that. But it's not really true that all these pictures are sent just because they're threatened. Many kids send pictures uh, be just because they were asked. Around 50% of high school students have sent a nude picture in the last year if they had been asked for one first. 50%, that's a huge number, right? And so we're gonna talk about a little situation that uh, I dealt with last year. A school that I was training at, I was training the sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. Uh, sixth grade was a snow day, so they missed. So I trained the seventh and eighth graders. And luckily a seventh grader was, or sixth grader was in one of the seventh grade classes. And so when I came back to train the sixth grade, a, the, the principal asked me if I'd heard what's going on. I said I hadn't. And so this is what he explained to me. He explained to me that there's two girls, girl one, girl two, they like the same boy. Uh, and the boy liked the fact that the, there's two girls that liked him. It wasn't going to make a decision. Uh, you know, yeah, I'm sure this never happened to your school at all, ever. Uh, but the uh, girl one, girl two, girl two thought, you know, I can get rid of my competition by it really embarrassing her. So she came up with a plan to have her, remember it's two sixth grade girls. The girl two's ninth grade brother was going to talk to the other sixth grader. And if she can have, he can have her send him a picture, either nude, semi-nude, something really embarrassing, she, he's gonna give it to the sister. And the sister and cousin are gonna blast it out on Snap the very next morning to all the sixth graders. It embarrassed that girl and that boy wouldn't want to have nothing to do with her and this girl could and the boy could could date here's the problem uh sounds crazy but the crazy thing is that it actually worked so the sixth grade girl sent the boy a picture uh the boy asked for it the girl sent it the boy received it he gave it to the sister the sister gave it to the cousin and then the cousin and sister blasted it out on snapchat and they really didn't realize exactly how serious it was because Kentucky law doesn't it says doesn't say that if you're, if you're okay with the picture if you're all dating doesn't matter if you are sending or have have asking for or have pictures of somebody under the age of 18 on your phone even if it's of yourself it is illegal and this is what these kids are facing so this middle school love triangle the brother asked for this picture all right so he induced child pornography because she's under 16 years old, it's a 10 to 20 year charge, and that's for every picture that she sends. If he asks for pictures, he sends two, that's 20 to 40, right? So the girl actually created child pornography. She possessed it on her phone and sent the picture to the brother. Now, creating, she created it, that's 10 to 20 year charge. Possessed it one to five, distributed it one to five. Uh, the brother then, now he possessed it, and then he distributed it by sending it to the, the sister. So every picture that leaves your phone, whether it's one picture to five people or five pictures to one people, each picture is an individual charge. So with one picture uh, uh, is, is one to five. Now he possessed it and sent it, so it's two to ten. Now the sister, girl two, she possessed it and she sent it to cousin. Cousin possessed it and then she sent it to... Uh, girl and cousin sent it to everyone on Snapchat, the last part here. But just before they sent it to Snapchat, you're looking at 10, 22, 24, 26, 28 plus years of, of time, of charges. 28 years. And here's the thing. These kids did not understand the, the significance of this until the principal, vice principal, called the sheriff's department after they found out what happened. And they put handcuffs on these kids. And they took them all to the court designated worker, the courthouse. And now if they're lucky, everything's going to be all taken care of as a juvenile charge. They're going to learn their lesson and then they go on. Here's the problem. The ninth grade brother now, when he, when he says he wants to go to college, he turns his transcripts and they say, why did you turn, why did you get kicked out of high school in ninth grade? Well, I did this thing, got a child pornography charge. Who's going to let them in? Right? We want great things for our kids, but now our child's going to have this baggage of us dealing in child pornography. Whether I asked for it, I sent it, I took it, whatever. Everyone sees child pornography as, as the pedophiles, not the fact of a 12-year-old send a 15-year-old a, a picture, 
All right? So this is what we're also seeing is in high school, boys and girls dating. And the boy turns 18 and the ones have dealt the situations we've dealt with in schools, the, this, the boys turn 18 first, and either the girls got mad and went to the police, or the parents went mad, got mad once they found these pictures that this boy and girl have been sending back and forth and went to the police. And they go knock on the boyfriend's door, are you so-and-so? Yes. Are you date, do you have pictures of this girl on your phone? Yes. 17 years old, it's child pornography. Now they got adult charges of child pornography. Is that fair? Doesn't matter. That's the world we live in. Right? We've got to train our kids that this is not a joke. This is a baggage that you're going to be carrying around for the rest of your life. We don't want our kids' futures messed up because they made stupid decisions that, honestly, a lot of us would have probably made as well when we were that age. If we had phones. We had social media. All right? I'm not, we're not, I'm not bashing on your child. I'm saying it, this is just the reality of what, we're, of what we're facing. We've got to talk to our kids about their real-world real consequences because of this. Some states have kind of uh, clauses of, uh, you know, if they're under 18, if you're dating, then, then you know, you kind of get a warning. Not every state does. So know what your, your law is, but in, in, if they're not sending them, they're not taking them, then you don't have to even worry about it. So, uh, again, the, the download uh, for the last two, two uh, videos has been what to do if something bad happens, right? This one is, we want, this isn't a download, this is a, an action. We want you to sit down with your kids and, and go over this video with them and let them know that it is serious. There are legal consequences that they will be facing if they're going to send pictures, if they're going to take pictures, even if they're going to ask them. We'll come back and we'll keep going down this road.